welcome to CrushTheStreet.com's weekly market wrap up. Let's get started in the equity sector which had an unremarkable day as well as an unremarkable week. Basically, since the February 1st session, the markets have been on a decline, swapping highs and lows above key thresholds but lacking any direction. If we take a closer look at the technicals for the S&P 500 index, we can see that momentum has flatlined and is trending lower, despite the fact that the 50-day moving average is above both the 100 and 200 DMAs. Taking a longer-term view over the past year, the flatlining of the price action is very conspicuous as the index almost always moves directionally. The last time such horizontal trading occurred was in September when QE3 was announced, and we all know what a disappointment that was. In my opinion, the markets are headed for a correction, and a potential confirmation of this forecast is the US dollar, which gained 1.2% against last Friday's close, and it currently puts the dollar index above the 80 level. A sharp decline in the euro, coupled with near guaranteed weakness in the yen, is unwittingly popping the greenback higher, and at this rate, the United States is in danger of losing the race to the base. This is also a time when you need to heed the warnings coming from future money trends, where they have consistently called for deflation first before we see hyperinflation. If that prognostication rings true, value investing makes more sense as much of the downside has already been accounted for. Reputable companies like Advanced Micro Devices or ticker symbol AMD have suffered significant losses over the years and for AMD in particular, their current share price is very close to all-time lows. It's trading in an inclined channel and those willing to take a little risk might see substantial rewards considering that their microchips are used in many of today's popular video game consoles and that this trend will likely continue. That said, their credit was downgraded to CCC, which is only a few notches above complete crap, so a clear understanding of the risks is necessary. However, credit ratings in and of themselves did not dictate the course of business, so again, AMD may fit the bill for the risk tolerant. Finally, let's review the silver market, which has been stuck in range-bound trading for most of this week. Currently at 31.49, we are a tick underneath the 50 DMA, but well above the 200, so it's anybody's guess where the immediate price will head. For the bearish argument, silver has failed to break past the declining trend line, which has been in place since October of last year. On the bullish side, silver has not fallen below a rising level of support that began in July. And of course, these two trend lines will intersect very quickly. A significant move could be in play here, so be on the lookout for that upswing. And that will do it for this edition. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. For more unconventional ideas, please visit CrushTheStreet.com.